Hi guys! So, what it is? So, what's up? <laughs> motorbike. Yeah, motorbike. motorbike. Yeah. That's right, and we're going to tour the around the Bantayan Island. The tour spots of Bantayan Island. So, here we go! So this is the continuation guys of our trip from Santa Fe Bantayan Island. So this is the resort that we So bye for in. now, Anika Resort. We're coming back later. And right now, we're going to explore what's in Bantayan Island in Santa Fe. So let's go and take a ride with our driver, Steve in the house, yo! <laughs> So this is gonna be the first time which Steve drive in the Philippines. Yes, it's his first time experience driving in the Philippines because he really uh, get the opportunity to drive because we don't know how to drive. <laughs> and he was licensed, so yeah, it's good. So let's go. 2,000 years later. So the next stop is the Church of Santa Fe. Yeah, so as you can see guys, it's very big and old. So this is actually near at their public market. So in this area, it's like 3 to 5 minutes from our resort that we were staying in Anka Island Resort. So it was a really good, good, good uh, decision that we already stayed there. So everything we need is here. So right at this moment, we are now here at the wet market. Yes, so as you can see guys, this is what it looks like as wet market. So all of the fishes, the fresh meat, the chicken and everything fresh are here like seafoods, shrimp, scallops and many many more. So one of the best thing in Bantayan Island is one of the famous one is the dried fish. Yes, because it looks so fresh and it's big rather than here in the city that we were living so the Bantayan public market is a culinary bazaar known for its dried fish and affordable products yes so marked by large public market signs it is considered the heart and soul of the island browse the many food stalls and start conversations with the vendors for a glimpse into the local culture Yes, the market is split into several rows of buildings overlooking the water containing local fish in all forms. Choose from the array of dried squids and other specialties to enjoy with your family and friends. Taste the fish, tapa and danget dried fish. Listen to local speaking Visayan dialect with a distinctive accent. Engage in the Filipino tradition of purchasing pasalubong which can be any souvenir or gift that you intend to bring back home from your trip. So this dried fish in Bantayan Island is one of the famous things that you're going to have a pasalog to your loved ones. So right at this moment guys, we are now here outside. Yes, so this is actually uh, a bar. As you can see, this is a kuku bar. So there are a lot of bars here in Bantayan Island which is in Santa Fe which is very very near from our um, place that we are staying Anika Island Resort so we're kind of hungry so let's eat Ta -da! so we're here so yeah let's go and eat yes we're kind of hungry because this is dinner time already and this is eat all you can so you can choose whatever you want to eat and then it's kind of really a good deal yes it's not really expensive this is very cheap rather than you're gonna order on the resort that you're staying like in Anika Island because it's, it's too expensive so come and join with us guys now let's eat yeah So 
so this is very very nice they have a really good food and it's very affordable so you're gonna be busog <laughs> busog is real and now it's time to go out again yes so as you can see guys there are a lot of pharmacy and a store like DIY and everything here so this is very near to our resort in Anika Island so as you can see this is the MG square so we're going inside and let's see what's in here so this is the first night that we were visiting in this area so as you can see guys that there are a lot of foods here which you can really have like a good 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 price yes as you can see there are a lot of silog like tall silog, long silog, ham silog, halo halo and there is also like a Korean food here and also with your uh, souvenirs and everything so they have also seafoods so name it and it's here yes So as you can see guys that all the people here are very accommodating yes they're very friendly so it feels like uh, you know you're very welcome So if you'd like to party guys, they have also here like a bar which you can really have a good excitement with your ladies. <laughs> so this is the Japanese restaurant. Wow, it was really really nice. Oh my god, it was really really good. <laughs> Steve was so funny. See, it was really really nice. The ambience. Oh my god, it was really good place where you can really take a picture inside so as you can see guys that Harlan is so kind of busy yeah <laughs> she's taking pictures too and taking videos yeah it was very very nice here like oh my god it was so light and so this is a right place for Japanese yes have, this is a Japanese restaurant so mostly their foods are Japanese cook so this is very a good place like oh my god very amazed you can see now are you ready to see steve dancing yay we really danced there like oh my god it's the first time that steve tried to dance with us so it was kind of enjoying you really had fun good memories hello everyone so this is the second day Inside of Raven Tayan Island, the is here. So, we're going to explore what's in Santa Fe Tayan, are those tourist spots they have here. So, right here, Steve is already preparing for the motorbike. He's going to drive again. <laughs> so, stay tuned. So, let's go. We're in Anika Resort here. So last night we come here, right? So this is our breakfast time. So before we go, before we leave, so we need to eat first our breakfast. So we tried here at the MG Square. As you can see, there's a lot of foods. There's a lot of stores. There's a lot of pharmacy and everything that you're really looking for is here. This is actually near at the public market. So everything in this area is kind of very nice. All you need is here. So... OMG, there's a shark! So before the adventure guys, we have to bloated our tummy. Yeah, bloated. Yes, we're going to eat first. So as you can see, we've been here last night and now we go back to eat our breakfast. So yeah. 
and this time it's like um we're trying to <laughs> funny moment with steel oh my god steve why are you here it's glad to meet you me. i found I you oh my god it's our first time meeting here it's the top of island oh my god it's so great to see you <laughs> no. <laughs> so the food is ready and now we're going to eat yes so let's eat guys right after that another adventure coming yeah so we are here at the mango forest So this is the rules and the guidelines to get inside of the Magong Forest, yes. They have a lot of amenities too, like you can also do kayaking and everything. So this is the entrance that you can get inside. So you have to pay for the entrance fee like 75 pesos, so 75 pesos was like um, almost 2 dollars, yeah. So they have also for senior citizen to have a good discount and a PWD and child. So welcome to Mangrove Forest. So hello everyone. We are here at the Mangrove Forest. Where? Yeah, there are so there's seahorse. Oh, seahorse. I see seahorse. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You see that one? Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. There's a seahorse. Only the three of us here, so it's very good if you will uh, visit in San Taipei in mean, six days because it's not crowded. It's like we own this place a lot. <laughs> it's so nice. So this Omangyeka Mangrove Eco Park is located in Obuob, Mantayan Island, yes. Omangyeka stands for Obuob Mangrove Garden Integrated Ecotourism and Conservation Association. Yes, so it was like about 10 to 15 minutes from our last stop to spy with the boundary of the municipality of Santa Fe and Batayan that we reached this Mangrove Eco Park by using our Google Map. Yes, so Google Map is one of the helpful things. <laughs> so what can you say about your steel? <laughs> So this is a uh, mangrove forest. It's like a nature reserve back in back home. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Like we have a nature reserve like that. We can walk through the area. Mm -mm. Wow. Look All at that. Trees. So this is a stand out places. With others or you are not broken, just bend. Like mid stand so weak. <laughs> stand tall and reach for your dreams. Take a walk and let it go. For your eyes only. Mm. Oi! Yeah. What? 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 Mangroves. So the Seminoles were the only tribe that was never conquered mm. because of the mangroves in Florida. <coughs> well, wow, it looks like we're in the middle of the forest. This is the way going down to. The challenge. Oh, the challenge is this. Comes away. So as you can see, guys, this is the scientific name of Bacau, Rhizopora stylusa. Yeah. So this mangrove garden is you can take the boardwalk and enjoy the scenic view along the way. Yes, it was very very long. So starting our walk, many other local tourists came ahead of us and took photo opportunities at this very large sign that tells, "I am Omagega." Yeah, and as you can see guys, it was very very nice, the ambience, oh my god, it was like we were really in the middle of the forest when we were here. It was really amazed and impressed at how environment friendly the place was. We're here at the camp, so we, it means we won. Picture, picture. So because of being popular of a Filipino movie, this sign that says Camp Sawi 
Yeah, it's where their other guests were excitedly waiting for the chance to take their photo opportunity. Sawi in the local dialect is used to describe someone who's a failure, unfortunate, or broken-hearted in English as what the theme of the movie was about. So of course, we won't just pass the spot without our entry too! Yeah, so take a picture and enjoy the moment. So we're going inside of Camp Sawit, guys. Here we come. Be careful. <laughs> so walking along the path, the lush foliage and green surroundings were so refreshing and enlivening that you won't mind the heat of the sun. If you wish to seek shelter from the scorching heat, you can actually enjoy the shade of some nipa huts or shades made of light materials along the way where you can really relax, yes. So it's not a seahorse guys, it's like what we call here, singwil? Singwil. And then kaning usa? Maka na siya makaon eh. Tugaon? Nalada ko. Yeah, there's so many here. I thought it's seahorse, but it's not seahorse. <laughs> it's, it's a kind of fish, like what they call singwil. Oh my god, what is that? Another adventure is coming. <laughs> fish feeding. Oh, so this is the fish feeding here. So you wanted to feed the fish? No. Okay. Let's walk. Walking around the Christmas tree. <laughs> so we are now going to reach the top, guys. Yes. So we need to finish this line. <laughs> we need to get this done so that we can really exit. You don't need to go back. There's another direction to go out so as you can see guys the view oh my god it was so nice so this is gonna be the reaching halfway before taking the left turn back so this is very lovely spot the sign that says camp Pogi. yeah camp Pogi is truly picture there is the winner so, finish line of the race around the they got picture as Wagi means victory or success So we did it guys! We did it! And we are now going to the exit part from Camp Sawe to Camp Wage. So yeah, that's it on the Magrove Eco Park. Yeah, it's gonna be continued soon. So you have to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I upload a new video. Like and share. Thank you so much. Love, love, love!